And another feel-good moment here on the December 12th edition. Oh, January. January 12th edition of Monday Night Raw here in 2015. The news broke earlier this morning. Uh, basically, WWE sent word to TMZ. TMZ put it out, and then WWE acted like, Whoa! Why are you breaking our news here? And uh, then they went as far as to tweet that it's not official, but WWE believes that WWE is going to be inducting Randy Savage into 2015. The way they were backpedaling on Twitter today was pretty damn funny. They just should have came out and said, hey, we're going to play a video and Randy Savage is going to be the first inductee into the Hall of Fame. I don't believe that Savage is going to be the main eventer. Um, I think they are going uh, you know, all out for this. Uh, WWE Network. Uh, I didn't. I never saw a tweet. I just saw a tweet that it was going on, um, breaking into coverage with the uh, breaking news. Um, this is this is something uh, that I thought was really really cool. If you remember back to the Roman Reigns injury, um, you know they had the video. Although they told us it was going to play at eleven, and it didn't play until almost one. Um, so you had to be sitting around waiting for it for over two hours, um, just sitting there watching the CM Punk documentary, and then sitting there and watching. Whatever they played after that, just feeling like an idiot. Like, <laughs> like if you're gonna break news, break news already. But um, you know, they they had a whole big deal with uh, Hulk Hogan, with Lanny Poffo, uh, Mean Gene Okerlund, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, all giving their you know thanks to the Macho Man and saying that it was about time, it was long overdue. And uh, you know, as they do, they make the awesome video packages. And uh, you know, they, they made a video package for Randy Savage for the uh, rest in peace when he died. I believe that was back in 2012. Um, you can easily say that Savage should have been, gone into the Hall of Fame there. It seemed like that he was coming into good graces with the WWE. Um, there is the the, the ongoing rumor uh, that basically Savage's um, dying wish. Uh, was that you know not to put him into the WWE Hall of Fame unless all of the Poffos win it all at one time? His father and his brother, um, Lanny Poffo. Um, you know there, there's lots out there about him being a great wrestler. Um, you know he, he of course was the genius inside of the WWE. Randy's father was a legend. He's in the WCW Hall of Fame. It's debatable if he should be in that Hall of Fame. Randy wanted his brother to go in. I'm sorry, Randy wanted his father to go in. Uh, because of this, the main announcer for WCW, he quit. Uh, basically because he felt that the uh, WCW was sort of you know laying down uh, for its performers, putting people in there that shouldn't go in there. A lot of people think that the, 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 I'm sorry, the WWE Hall of Fame is... A bit of a joke. I mean, there is no, you know, freestanding building that you can go see these uh, people's things. There's been rumors of it happening for, you know, a couple of years. And it picked up uh, speed uh, a couple months ago with basically one of the big um, belt collectors saying that WWE had made a trade uh, for a very famous belt. Uh, I, I can't remember which one it was, but saying that they needed that uh, to, to build the Hall of Fame. So maybe this is coming. You know, people have thought that it might go down in Orlando. Maybe they could start doing tours of the uh, Hall of Fame, the Performance Center, drive down the road, hit uh, Hogan. Hogan's Beach Shop uh, and, and Hogan's Beach Restaurant uh, in Tampa. But honestly, Macho Man going into the Hall of Fame honestly is very long overdue. He's one of the best performers of all time. He's one of the best uh, guys at, at delivering promos. Um, he was very colorful. Um, he really reached out and grabbed you through the television screen and he made you, you know, pay attention to what he was doing. He made you pay attention to his matches. Um, you know, he played himself up like he was insane. You never knew what this guy was going to do next. And um, he's one of the best. And, you know, there, there, there's the, always going to be those rumors in the back of, you know, why Savage was never brought back to WWE, um, why uh, there's no Triple H, why there's no Stephanie, why there's no Vince McMahon on the Randy Savage story, the Macho Man DVD. But um, hopefully now this can be put down to rest. Um, they, they're going to give it a big deal at at, um, at WrestleMania 31. Uh, I don't think he's going to be the main eventer. I, I think that there's still going to be a name that to send us all home happy uh, with a great speech um you, know, you don't want to be having to hear Lanny Poffo uh talking about a guy who's no longer with us anymore and um 
you know, us crying on the way out the door, you know, walking home from WrestleMania 30 in that death march, um, you know, like it felt like we were walking home from the funeral, and, uh, you know, even though Brian won at the end, it was the big moment when, you know, Undertaker lost, killing off the streak, I think a lot of us walked out of that building knowing that we were never going to see Undertaker again, um, and, uh, that, that Brock Lesnar had basically killed the man, right there in the middle of the ring, but, um, Savage going in is going to be a great, awesome moment. I, I think everybody knows that Hall of Fame tickets for the general sales are going to go on, on sale Saturday. I'm hoping for maybe a Wednesday, hoping for maybe a Thursday uh, Hall of Fame pre-sale. Um, so we'll check out and we'll see um, you know, what we're doing for that. So um, WrestleMania 31, hope you guys got your tickets. Hope you're coming. And um, oh yeah, Macho Man.